children in the hospital after police say they were both stabbed. Now, News 12's Marilyn Buckley joins us now. She is at the Gowanus houses at the scene of the crime. We saw a lot of activity there just a short while ago. Marilyn, what's going on there now? Kerr, police are still here on scene and neighbors tell us these two young children actually lived here. They knew each other and police do say that they were very young. One of them 11 years old, the other 13 years old. And when they began fighting, we're told that went down in this little passageway that leads to the basketball courts. Now, as police were on scene, they were searching for evidence and it didn't take them very long to uncover a bloody pocket knife and a box cutter. Two of these weapons possibly could have been used in this stabbing here at the Guam houses and what we're told by neighbors is that this is a pretty tight knit community. Everyone knows everyone. Everyone's very social for the most part. And while we have seen a lot of people walking around, not many were comfortable to speak on camera about this. However, two neighbors did say that these children, they were fighting, they were throwing water at each other, but things did take a turn and that's when people believe that it turned violent. Now, we do know both of those children are in the hospital. They're both expected to be OK, but police say they are still going to be on here on scene investigating. We are in Borum Hill. I'm Mary Lynn Buckley, News 12. All right, Mary Lynn.